Have you been looking for a Family Feud template for Google Slides, but you just aren't able to find one that you like or one that works the way you want it to? Well, if so, stick around because I've got a couple of great options for you. Hey, it's Jeff with YourLearningCareer.com. If you visited the channel before, then you probably already know that I am a big fan of using game shows in my training classes to help add some fun, some interactivity. Now, my tool of choice when I do this is typically PowerPoint, and I have some videos that I will link to here and in the description if you wanna find out more about those. But I understand that for many of you, because of where you work, whether it's your school or your company, you may only have access to Google Slides, and maybe you don't have access to PowerPoint. And so that's why I wanted to share with you a couple of templates that I have created specifically for Google Slides. So one of the templates is meant to be used with an extension that you can get on the Google Workspace Marketplace um, for free. Uh, so that involves you going out and installing an extension and it adds some really cool functionality that you can use in your Family Feud game. Now, for those of you who maybe aren't all that comfortable with installing an extension and you just wanna, you know, hey, I just wanna do it myself, I'll, I'll do everything manually, that's fine too, uh, you can certainly do that I do have a template for that as well okay so this is the template that is going to be used with the extension um, there's some setup that you have to do ahead of time I'm going to show you that later right now I just want to focus on showing you how it looks when you play I have a title slide here if you want to have some music in your game you can just click on this and hit play and you'll get some uh, some game show music there. And by the way, something that's important to understand with slides, when you play the game, you're going to be playing in edit mode. So, you know, in PowerPoint, I would put this into slideshow mode, and because of the animations and things I can do in PowerPoint, I can keep it in slideshow mode and run it from there. But with Google Slides, you don't have the same functionality that you do with PowerPoint. So you do need to run it in edit mode. But let me show you what it's going to look like with this extension. I'm going to go to extensions and then I'll go to classroom feud and play classroom feud. And then I'm going to get this panel on the side. And this is what I'm going to use to get all kinds of cool functionality within Google Slides. So the way it works is let's say you have two people come up, you ask the question, what are the five largest planets in the solar system? Let's say the first person guesses uh, answer number two. So in order to reveal the answer, you're gonna go here to show answer number two and you'll get a ding and there it is Saturn and then as you can see the round points the points are going to come over from there so very cool uh, and then let's say the other person has the number one answer and you can hit show answer one and that's going to reveal Jupiter 40 points so now you've got 70 points and now whoever guessed closest to number one or they guess number one gets to pass or play so let's say that's team a and they want to play you would go down the line and let people answer and if they get an answer correct you just show the answer over here if they get the answer wrong you can use the strikes so you'd start with the one times and it's going to give you a sound and an x and what's cool there is notice how it stays red so you can keep track of the fact that, oh, okay, there's one strike already. Then if there's two strikes, you'd click that and so on. And then let's say maybe one other person got an answer correct. And so now you've got a total of 85 points. And let's say at the end of the round, the winning team ended up being team A. So what you'll do then is up here, you can designate who the points go to, either team A or team B. And I'm just gonna click the left one, and then it's gonna assign those points over there to team A. Now, oftentimes we like to see, okay, 
We got those answers. What about the number three and five, those answers that we missed? Well, I can reveal those two. I can hit show answer three, show answer five, and it's gonna show them. Now, the one thing I wanna do though, before I move on, notice how it, it did put those points in score. So what I wanna do before I move on to the next round is I'm gonna set the round score to zero. So that's gonna leave that at zero. I still have the 85 there for team A. Um, and now I'm ready to move on to the next round. And it brings the points over. So it shows team A with the 85 points. Uh, and then you'll just continue playing the game. Let me show you the basic manual version. Basically, as far as the template, it looks the same. So as far as playing the game in this version, you're still gonna play in edit mode, but what you're gonna do is, is like on your first question, let's say your people come up, they answer the question, let's say someone gave the number three answer, the person who buzzed in first. So what you have to do here, because I don't have the extensions, basically I have to delete this in order to reveal the answer. And then let's say someone gave the number one answer, again, I'm gonna delete it. So that's how I'm gonna play on here. As far as scoring, you can manually type in the scores. I've got these spaces here for you to use if you want to. So you could either manually enter the score and carry it over from slide to slide, or if you don't wanna deal with that and you just wanna keep score off the board, you could do that. You could just delete these and not worry about that and just do your scoring off outside of slides. All right, so now that you see how you would actually play the game using either one of these templates, let's now take a look behind the curtain and let's see how you would actually go in and customize these templates. So because I'm already here in the basic one, let me start here because this is, this is pretty straightforward as far as editing and customizing. The main thing that you're gonna be going in and updating will be your questions and answers. And the way I'm gonna do that, now this one, uh, let me go ahead and I'm gonna hit undo, undo. Okay, first of all, what, I did, what I've done with this template is I've given you several different numbers of answers. Whatever your question is and however many answers you have, you can have up to eight answers. I've got two of each. So I've got two eight answer slides, two seven answer slides, to six answer slides, et cetera, et cetera. You know, I would sit down and figure out, okay, how many of each of these am I gonna need? And then what you can do is if you need more of any of these, like maybe I need uh, three slides that have uh, six. Well, all you have to do is right click and duplicate slide. And that's how you can create another slide for this. And then you're just gonna go in and type in your question. So like for right here, I'm just gonna highlight this and type over it here is my question. Great. Then what I'm gonna do for these is I'm going to click on each of these answer covers and I'm going to hold down shift while I do it. Because what I wanna do is I wanna select each one of these, all of these at once. Then I'm going to right click and I'm going to cut. That way I can now go in and update my answers. So I just highlight this uh, dog and then I'm gonna go to this one, cat. Okay, I'm real creative here today. And then if you want to update your point totals, you can, maybe this one's actually worth 35. I usually try to make them add up to 100, but you can go in and you can update that however you want. And then when I'm done updating the answers, I'm, I'm done updating the question, I'm now going to right click and I'm gonna hit paste and now my answer covers are back. Now, let me show you how you would set up the template that you use with the extension. In this template, you should see when you first get it and you go to extensions within the template, you should see the Classroom Feud game and then there's an option to install it and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and hit install and it's gonna take me here to the Google Workspace Marketplace 
and I'm going to install it here. It's gonna ask me to choose an account and then there are permissions that I have to give it and I'm gonna go ahead and hit allow and then it's gonna let me know that it has been installed and I can hit done. So once you have the extension installed, you're now ready to configure your game because you want to do that before you play the game. You've got to set it all up to have it ready to go. We're going to first go to extensions and classroom feud game and then configure classroom feud. If you are using my template, which is this one, the friendly feud, you do not need to do step one. Step one here says copy our classroom feud template. And then they have different color choices of templates. Again, you don't need to do that because if you're using my template, it is set up to work with this extension so you do not need any extra templates now if you want to try their templates you're more than welcome you can import the orange template in or whichever one you want but you can totally skip this step if you're using this template all right so i am going to skip that step because i do not need to do that i'm going to use my template then step number two is to make a copy of the questions template. This is a Google Sheets document. This I do recommend you do. And when you click the link, you're going to get this Sheets document and you're gonna notice they already have under sheet one, I would say you could ignore these other ones, you know, you could grab from them if you want, but the default that grabs from, as far as when it grabs the questions and answers, it's going to grab from sheet one. This is where you can see they already have 18 questions in here, so you could use these if you wanted to, but probably what you're gonna wanna do is to go in, update all of these questions, answers, and point totals, or you could leave the point totals there. You know, however you wanna do it, this is where you would go in and enter your questions and answers, your point totals, um, and then this is going to be pulled into the template. So let me just show you what it looks like when I import these. So I'm gonna go back into my slides and then let me just show you this. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna copy the URL of the spreadsheet here. Here's the spreadsheet. I'm just gonna go here and then I'll go here and I'm gonna paste, all right? And then I'm just gonna click on import questions. And when they're imported, it's gonna say uh, done. So I can close this and then you can see down here, I can show answers. If I click on show all answers, it's going to remove all the covers automatically. So I can go through and I can take a look at them like that, you know, and click on whichever ones I want to uh, look at. I can make edits if I want. I can do um, cover, you know, when I'm about ready to play, I want these covered. If I want to show the X's here, I can. This is also like maybe I played a game and I want to play it again, maybe with a different group. So if I've got scores here that have been uh, pulled in, I can go here to reset scores to zero. You see this custom sound. So right now, um, the sounds that are there are um, there's a ding sound, you know, for when you get a correct answer. And then for the strikes, there's kind of like a, you know, kind of sound. So if you want, like if you want something different, like maybe you want applause for your um, correct answers. Maybe you want more of a buzzer sound for your strikes. Uh, this is kind of cool. There's a custom sounds option. So if you want, if you've got an audio file, you'll want to put it in Google Drive and then you can uh, actually put the URL for your sound in here and you can change the correct answer and the wrong answer sounds. So that's just something else I wanted to point out here because I think that's pretty cool. So those are some of the things you can do here under configure and then it reminds you here again for free accounts, you'll be able to play up to four rounds. Once you have imported your questions and answers and you've got it, you know, you've got everything in order the way you want, you can now go back to extensions, classroom feud game and play. All right. So now you know how to play the game using these templates. You know how to customize them. Of course, the only question left is where can you go to get them so that you can start creating your own 
game in Google Slides. Well, that's very easy. I'm gonna put a link for you in the description below so you can grab them. Have fun, I hope your game is a huge success. Thank you as always for watching and we will see you next time.